In this video, I'd like to start talking about the building blocks of coding sketches on the Arduino. We'll leave the student kit aside for a little bit. We're not doing any electrical circuits. We're just talking about beginning to write our sketches. Now, the first thing I think is useful before we write a sketch is how do we make the sketch print something out on the computer so that we know that's working. When we wrote a circuit, we had a, like a light come on or we put a multimeter on it. We could read a voltage. That's how we knew it was doing what it was supposed to. But one of the basic things of checking that a program or a sketch works is that we print something out on the computer. Okay, let's open up. Here's my Arduino IDE. What I'm going to start with, I'm going to open up a blank sheet. I'm going to go to the examples and I'm going to, go to the basics and bare minimum. Well, that's kind of kind of small in it. Let's let's blow that up here so that you can see it. So here's our our bare minimum sketch. Now, you, right off the bat, it's got two sections. It's got a setup section and a loop section. I'm not going to worry about that too much today. I'm actually going to put stuff here in this setup. Norm, normally, you use the setup for things you want to happen once and things down in the loop section that you want to repeat over and over again. So in order to print something out on the computer, there's, there's a little thing called a serial monitor that we're going to use. So basically, this little window becomes like the screen that the Arduino talks to. So the first thing I have to do is, is kind of set the table for dinner. How, do, how does this code in the Arduino talk to this monitor? Now, if you notice down at the bottom here, sorry, it's kind of small for you to see. It says what baud rate, B-A-U-D, is this monitor expecting to communicate with? So I have to tell my code the same rate. So the two pieces of the code and the screen have to be have to agree on what what speed are they sending these signals back and forth. So I'm going to define a statement here: serial dot begin and the speed is going to be 9600 now because that's a statement at the end I have to put a semicolon so that's just like basic set the table for dinner you gotta put things where they go our right, next we're gonna say serial dot print line and I'm going to put a bracket here. And this is eventually going to have a closed bracket. But inside the bracket, I'm going to put some a text I'm going to print out. I'm going to put, quote, hello world. And remember, at the end of every, every command, we've got to put our semicolon. So that should be a valid program. Now, normally you would put things you're going to use down in the loop, but I want this just to happen once. So I've got my I've got my Arduino plugged in and turned on, and it's not doing anything, but it's it's powered up. And I'm going to first let's verify this sketch, see if it works okay. Okay, I've got something wrong. So you can, what it says here, I'm missing a terminating double quote character. So if you look what I've got, I've got a double quote here, hello world, and I didn't put that on the other side. So this is kind of an example of how we, how we troubleshoot our code. Let's, let's verify that again. Let's see, click that again here. Okay. Took a little longer than I thought. So anyway, anyway, everything's all white. I don't have any orange error messages. 
And now I'm going to upload this code into my Arduino and turn on this communication port. And voila, look at that, it writes back, hello world. So this little Arduino was running, it had the code running inside of here, and it sent that, that string, hello world, up to our, our little communication window. Um, just to show how this works, what if I what if I put something? Let me get that out of the way. Let me put something down. Let's put another one here. Serial dot print line. What if I said? Oh, uh, let let's say have more fun. Let's say take me to your leader. And I have to, this time, remember, I close my quotes, then close my bracket, and then put a semicolon. Now, to slow this down, this would happen so fast, it would just fill the serial window with stuff. I'm going to put a delay of five, let's make it ten seconds. Ten, one, two, three, and then a semicolon. So let's open the serial window again. And it, I'm going to clear it out, clear, hit clear output, and then I'll verify this code, verify it OK, and then I'm going to upload it. Let me display my serial window again. So it says, hello world, then it says, take me to your leader. Now, in, in like 10 seconds, it's going to repeat that because it's repeating this loop. It repeats, take me to your leader. So this is going to repeat over and over again. So that's kind of the difference of what's in the setup and what's, what's in the loop. Now, the only way to make the stop is to unplug this. It's going gonna, it's gonna to keep running forever. So as long as it's... So it's, it's said that a couple more times while we're waiting here. So I'm going to unplug this to stop it's the Arduino from sending that code in that loop. So d debugging, a common mistake is we f if we forget the semicolon on the end of the line and say verify, it's going to give me an error. So I expected a semicolon. So usually it tells me kind of what to expect. And no, but notice this one. It's it's highlighting the line after the problem. So it flagged an error here. So sometimes the errors can be like in the line before. So I'll do that and check it again. So that's just. A little thing about debugging, just expect you're going to have errors. In fact, one of the main uses of this serial print line function is to debug a code. So if you want to see what's my code doing and you want to see how far did it get, you could put a print statement say, I am here, I am here, just so you can see where, where the code is. Oh, another thing that's interesting is when we used the Arduino before for our electric circuits, we we talked about using I think the you know the digital pins. This really it goes from zero to thirteen, so there's really fourteen of them. Remember that pin thirteen is actually tied in with the little light we call the the built-in LED light on the board. So we got to be careful how we use pin thirteen. Doesn't, it doesn't stop us from using it, but just we've got to remember that anything we do, that little light's going to be blinking when we use it. Well, pins 0 and 1 are kind of reserved also. What those are used for, those are actually synonymous with what goes to this serial... Okay, you know what happened then? I'm trying to open up my serial window, and it says your Arduino board is not plugged in. So that's why that error is there. 
Okay, so now with, with the Arduino plugged in, it lets me open up my serial port. So the things that go back and forth to this are, are really being shared by pin 0 and 1. So we can actually use pin 0 and 1, but you've got to be careful because things you might hook up on your circuit board might make this serial window not work like it's supposed to. So you've got to be a little bit careful. So kind of avoid using pin 0 and 1 for other electrical things. Let me just show for fun another, another thing we might do is how we might use this in Tinkercad. So let me, for example, let's, let's show this code. Let's, let's copy it. I'm going to select it all, then I'm going to type Control-C for copy. I, I could also right-click and say copy. That's, that's the same thing. So let's, when we go into Tinkercad, I've got a blank page. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring out an Arduino board because I, I can't write code unless I have an Arduino board to write it in in, in Tinkercad. And I'm going to go to this code section. Now notice the code section here has these another kind of code, these little graphical blocks. So if I wanted to write code here, let's put this in the trash can and I go to output. So one of the outputs says print to the serial monitor. So I'll put that out here and notice it's already got hello world here. So if I start this simulation Oh, so me open. Here's my the equivalent of my serial monitor on Tinkercad. When I say start simulation, notice it's printing that over and over and over again. The, the reason is with these this block language, it doesn't give me the control to put things in the setup versus in the loop. So what I'm going to do, instead of using blocks, I'm going to go to text and say, yep, I want to switch. So here's the code that I had, and notice it's got this serial print down here in the loop. So if I type, cut that from here, and come up here and say paste it here, I'll have more like I had before. Let me clear the monitor and start the simulation, and it runs and says, hello world down here. So let's stop that. So again, I'll show you, you can do the same things in Tinkercad. Just remember when you open up a blank Arduino and write code into it, 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 it brings up this block type thing. That's a nice simple way to code, but it's not quite the same as, as, our, as our text code that, that we have here. Okay, so the next, in the next video, we're going to talk about using variables and constants. So we can start using doing things in our Arduino, and the way we can tell if it worked, we'll be printing things out here on this serial monitor. All right, so that's it for now. We'll see you in the next video where we start talking about variables and constants.